Well, I think there's two kinds of control systems, right? There's the, the control system for um, heavily action-based games where action comes first. That's what I'm working on now. So in the game I'm working on now, it's a shooter that's got to come first, right? It's not about anything but having the uh, controller or the keyboard feel seamless. So I stop thinking about it, and my focus is in what's happening in the game, and my fingers are doing what they're doing in service of what I see happening in the game, right? So that, in that case, it's about making the controls as transparent as possible. And to be honest, when you're in that environment, a lot of times you're looking at what other games people are playing because you want to leverage the muscle memory that they've already built up about games that they've been playing for years. So there was this time where there was Gears and there was Halo and there was another game that I, I can't recall right now that all three had different mappings and every time you'd play one you'd be like, ah! Because your fingers were used to Halo at that point and you started suddenly instead of reloading you're changing weapons and you just don't know what's going on, right? So for action games I think especially that's important. But when you get away from action games and you start talking about other types of games, then I think it's about how can I feel like I'm in the world? I think Gone Home is a good example, for example, uh, a good example of controls that try to get out of my way and, and really support the interactions that I'm having with the world. So I think the, the biggest danger is that designers love complicated things. And so designers always want to give you uh, more things to do than you can really understand. I think it's a great exercise for designers, even if it's not a console game, to map their controls to a controller. And if you can't map all of your controls to a PS3 or an Xbox controller, then you've got too much going on and you need to simplify your game. Um, and, and I think that's not a step that, if you're not a console developer, you might not even think of doing that, but I think it's super important.